Hello everybody. This week's camera is the Canon EOS 620. It was introduced in May of 1987, two months after the first EOS camera, Electro Optical System. Uh, the EOS 650, Canon did a complete departure from their lens system before. Naturally, people who had a fortune in FD lenses were not happy about that. They did offer an adapter. It was a really limited range of uh, lenses. It was optical because the distance from the lens mount to the film plane was shorter, so there was no room to put an adapter without an optical uh, adjustment. It had lenses in the adapter. But enough of the history. It has auto film transport, rewind. You just uh, put the film leader to an orange mark, close it, reads the DX encoding, loads it up, boom, you're ready to go. With the EOS system, they moved all of the lens functions to the lens so that motors could be matched to the zoom length. They didn't have to be overbuilt by putting it in the body to where it had to be able to handle some gigantic zoom lens as well as some little pancake 28 millimeter. Obviously, the uh, aperture is in the lens, uh, electrically controlled from the camera body. The shutter is in the body. This one goes from 1 4,000th of a second to 30 seconds. Uh, and then obviously it has a bulb setting. Flash sync down to 1 250th of a second through the lens metering for the uh, EZ series. Uh, that was introduced with the EOS cameras. A lot of the buttons don't really have uh, much in the way of labeling. This obviously is the lens release. This one is a depth of field preview. Um, this one lights up the viewfinder. This one switches it from its uh, uh, six zone matrix metering mode to spot metering. The cool thing about the 620 that the 650 didn't have you hit the mode and exposure compensation uh, buttons at the same time and then you use the wheel, you use the wheel for everything, you push a button to select what you're doing and hit the wheel. But anyway, you hit these two buttons, it goes into multiple exposure mode, you work the wheel and this will do up to nine exposures on a single frame. Played with that a little bit, it's pretty cool. You can set this camera you spin this dial anything off of L, it's a point and shoot. Uh, it reads the DX encoding, sets the aperture, sets the shutter after the lens tells it what it's capable of, what its zoom length is, what its aperture range is. Or you can go aperture priority, expo uh, shutter priority, or you can set it to manual, dial in everything, and you have as much control as an old mechanical. I loaded a, uh, a roll of expired 800 film to shoot the recent lunar eclipse. I'll let you know how that goes as soon as I get it processed. Played with this about a year ago, uh, dorking with the multiple exposures. I was still kind of learning my way around the camera. They're not great. So I'll shoot another roll. I've got uh, Sigma 70 to 300 on here. I used a uh, uh, 2x extender on this for shooting the moon. I've got a Nifty 50 and a couple of other old Sigmas. Anyway, I will uh, shoot another roll through this and I'll let you know how it goes. And I'll see you then.